Hi out there. So I got myself a new power amp for my setup. Uh, this is an uh, Audio Research and it's a uh, VS55 uh, um, power button. And, and this is really an all tube um, amplifier. There's no resistors. Uh, resistors, of course, the resistors. There are no transistors um, in in the signal path. There are transistors in it, but that's for a current generator and for for the power supply. It's uh, powered by uh, um, sixty-five fifty tubes. Um, I guess it should be able to run with uh, KT. Um, uh, 88 or KG90 uh, tubes uh, haven't tried it should be uh, possible um, there's been some service notes out about the BS adjustments but you can read on that about that online um, I went to, um, to from here to Strasbourg on Saturday to pick up the amp so there was almost a 2,000 kilometers drive just to pick up this baby, but uh, I'm really happy about that I took that one. Um, the inputs, unbalanced, uh, and there are no balanced for this auto research uh, amp. Um, the common, the 4 and the 8 ohm, here you should be aware that the 4 ohm is a, is a, a ground also, so that you know don't mistakenly think that this is that this one is ground. It isn't. This is the ground. It's internally connected to ground. The bias adjustments, and here it's it's over and one ohm uh, resistor inside. So not that these two are the same connectors because they go directly to the the um, the resistor where you measure the the current through the tube output tubes, and of course there are four of them the power connector and then there is a trigger input so if you trigger the amp here it will power on even though it's uh, powered off on the front there is an inside relay that you then uh, activate uh, one thing i notice here is that uh, it's uh, 470 mi microfarads uh, there are four of them for the power supply that's quite okay what it's not okay is that it's uh, 450 volt um, and as far as I remember, uh, it's 420 on the output. So uh, a thumb of rule I learned when I was into uh, my apprenticeship was that it was a 20% plus. So if you have uh, 420, then you should add 20% to it, and then you're way over the... 450 but uh that's typical to keep it so if if i at some point gonna uh, replace them i'm gonna put some uh, with a higher voltage in um probably a production date there what does it say 0107 uh, i guess it's uh, from 2001 seven month that would fit very well when it, this was released it's uh, from the start of the the manilium so um, okay i will just uh, flip it up here on the side and this is something that yeah, i'm also really really happy about that it's really really well ventilated i will stop the video now and take off uh, the button and the top lid so you can have a look inside so here's uh, with the top lip, lip uh, lid off. Um, let me use something here to point so I don't get any rest voltage on me. Here's the input relay for the trigger, as I, um, I just mentioned. The regulators for adjusting um, the current. It's a negative uh, voltage regulation for, uh, for output tubes. Um, and this is, I guess, what is the the one ohm? I guess it, this is just guessing. Ah, no, it's probably this this one. Um, they they should be have been matched these resistors according to uh, the the data sheet. Um, 
These are condensers for uh, for the signal path. Um, what could I say about this inside? It looks very nice, very clean, and it's uh, foremost all it's uh, it's easy to service. Yeah, here is also a date, two thousand and one. So. Uh, so now let's see on the other side. So here's a view from the button. And here is the, the power button. And it's uh, if they fell off, they will not fell fell on the circuit board, and they will short circuit on on uh, on here. So that's okay. Um, should I go over here? Yeah. Uh, everything is um, is marked and labeled down here uh, what it is uh, black red green black um, yeah very nice and um, also put a guide on here so the cables are kept in the position these are the input uh, okay <laughs> that's um, these are the input cables uh, they're really thick uh, they're not. Um, it, it's the same cables they used for the the output. So um, and where they're going, they're going somewhere in here. Yeah, okay, I cannot show you that. Um, the the tubes are fixed on the circuit board uh, with uh, with screws, so the sockets will not. Uh, have that much uh, way to to wiggle or anything, and um, that's that's a nice thing. They didn't do that to the input tubes, the small signal tubes. You see, there's no uh, connectors on or or mounting on them. But uh, yeah, normally it's not that them that are burning the the circuit board. There's no signs of burning here. That that's something. Uh, you see miscoloring and so that that's not uh, any signs here. Uh, they put a few uh, components on the back side. Yeah. What do we have here? Yeah, some Vima here. Yeah, what? Then there is an. Um, up here, that must be uh, yeah. That's the circuit board where the the condensers are mounted. They're soldered here too, and there's a thick thick line here. You can you can even I can uh, you can hear when I push to the, <laughs> the 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 board or the um, on it. So and here you have the rectifier uh, diodes uh, to make it the. Uh, Direct current from ampli uh, amplitude current. Um, these condensers, I don't know. Probably uh, they put over uh, the DC to decouple it. So that's okay. That's, um, then I had uh, something uh, I told you that um, the 4 ohm, this is the 4 ohm connector here. That, that one was uh, put to ground. Um, if you follow it here, blue one here to the output transformer, uh, and it goes around. That was not that one. It goes somewhere down here. But anyway, if if I do something else, you can see it's uh, blue there, there, and also it's blue over here. So I guess the blue is the ground coloring for this amp. Uh, that will make very good sense. Um, and uh, there's also, I don't know if it's possible to see, just the light a little bit. Here on the power supply, this is also blue. So I guess it blue is, is the ground coloring. And you can see here all the blue wires go into here. And it it's probably, it says on, on the board here, it says ground. So it is ground uh, for all of them. So, um, and yeah, and this goes over here. So yeah, for sure, 
that is at that is ground. So, but um, night, nice and tidy. No uh, loose cabling here. No. Uh, the only thing is this one for the trigger. That was not. It's not fixed. They could have put on a little thing here just to have it uh, fixed. Uh, and it goes up here. So that is for the relay. Um, yeah. Nice and tidy, uh, easy to service because you can get uh, to to the back side and the front side. And you can yeah just take up off uh, the top lid and put in the tubes again and uh, take off the back lid and then you actually can be able to to service it with the tubes in and you can just have it in an in a upright position. So um, so so far so good so um i hope you can use it for something this is my new power amp the auto research uh, vs55 and it goes into my stereo setup from now off so we're gonna relieve uh, my my amplifone uh, vl60 uh, which i had in there so now i'm, <laughs> I'm for the outlook for a preamp and probably gonna be a out research but let's see what what time will bring hope you enjoyed it bye